Uh, what are we gonna do? Have y'all been hearing that damn commercial? I've been hearing that commercial all morning. This song is gonna be stuck in my head. Anyway, happy Monday. I hope all of you had a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Those that celebrated. Now we're moving into Christmas, my least favorite holiday. I don't know why. It drives me crazy every year. It could be because I'm an empath, the crowds, the fakeness of it. Everything just irritates me around this time. But I said I was going to try to be better this year. I already see I'm starting off on the wrong freaking foot. But for those that celebrated, happy holidays. So let's get into these readings. You know how we do it. Ask your spirit guides, your angels, whoever you get your messages from to direct you to the card or cards that are for you. And let's see what we have going on for this week. Spirit, thank you. So I think we're going to do six cards and see what comes through. Thank you, Spirit. Hmm. Oh, okay, Amber Jean. I was ordering some products from her. I'm like, what is that message? Thank you, ma'am. How that spirit. There we go. Thank you. Oh. What happened to all the light fluffy readings? I'm like, what the heck? Seems like we've been getting all these deep readings where everybody, everything is self-sabotage, self-bondage. Like, come on. I want some lollipops. Rainbows. Unicorns. You know how we like it. Okay. We're going to put those three out together. And I might have to clarify card number one, two. All right, so one, two, three, four. Some of these are coming out in groupings. So I'm going to read them that way. Give you more of a in-depth reading. All right, one more card, Spirit. One more card. Thank you. And Spirit, clarify card number one for me, please. Card number one. Let's see what we got. Mm, all they did was make me more curious. Ah, okay. Gotcha, spirit. Gotcha. Let me turn this over and let me get them in order, you guys, so I know what the heck I'm doing. One, two, three. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. It may be five because I got a bunch of cards out. So we're going to do five because they are, they look like mini readings to me. Mini readings. So if you chose card number one, cards, this is a message about spiritual journeys, mentors, patience. So for some of you, you could be going through a really hard time spiritually where you're looking for a connection. I feel for some of you, definitely, this is looking for a mentor. And it is saying that you may be ready to start on your spiritual journey. You may have opened up a door to something or you feel like it's time. For a lot of people, going into 2019, a lot of people have already made up their mind. I don't want to do things the same way. I want to break cycles. A lot of people are growing spiritually. Their gifts are opening up. Um, they're looking into more things. They're researching more things. Now, this won't apply to everybody. For some of y'all, this could even be within a religion. Finding some type of meaning, finding some type of mentor that can help you get through some things and understand some things. So it depends on your growth and your path. What it does seem to me is that a few of you are getting impatient about either making this connection with spirit or making a connection with a mentor. I'm also getting, well, you know what? Let's address that first before I move on to this next thing that I'm, I, I feel. With the first thing, I feel like a lot of you are feeling pushed to move towards something, to open something up, to follow a certain path. And 
you may have gone as far as you feel like you can go by yourself. And now you're opening that door up where it's like, okay, I need a mentor. I need somebody to come in and help me a little bit more. It is showing that for some of you, you really are trying to connect with somebody who can help you on this walk. Because you started it off by yourself, but now you're feeling like, okay, I'm at a point where I need somebody else that can help me open up some doors. For some of you, you may have been looking for this person for a while because the patience card is there saying that you're getting closer to making a connection with somebody, but be patient. Don't be impatient. Don't connect with just anybody because you feel like I need to because, you know, I'm opening up or like I get messages from people, you know, I need to open my gift ASAP doesn't quite work that way spirit works on a different type of time and not on ours so your gifts develop and open when the time is right sometimes you got to go through some shit to even understand what that next phase is and unfortunately some of us grow through adversity you know you, you, you your fate is tested so you start researching and looking for more meaningful things or just things that make sense to you I do feel for a lot of you that you're in this place and you're opening up and because of your spiritual growth, because of things that you're going through, you're looking for somebody that can help you move to the next level. Now, for some of you, I feel like you have connected with a mentor, but you're not pleased. Either this person is not, you don't feel that they're taking you fast enough or you don't feel like they're making the time to really teach you the things that you want to learn. So I feel like there's some frustration with somebody who maybe you have paid money to or you signed up under and you don't feel like they're moving you further along. You feel like you need to be further along than where you are with this person. Here's the thing about mentoring. A lot of people don't understand. And I think my, my spiritual papa was telling me the way he learned, sometimes you got to put in the effort to really connect with them. You got to say, you know what, I'm going to come over. I'm going to spend some time with you. And you'll be surprised how many things you pick up just through conversation and stories. Things you pick up through doing chores with these people, going through the motion. So for some of you, this may be a disconnect where you feel like the person isn't making time for you but you may not be putting everything you need to be putting into establishing that relationship, especially if you're like me, where your, your spiritual mentor lives somewhere else. They live in a different state. So it makes it a little bit more complicated. Then it's not just his burden to teach me, but I also have to put in action to go to him to make sure that I learn the things that I want to learn. If you are in that situation and you are being impatient, I feel like for some of you, you may need to look deeper and make sure that this person is who they say they are, that you haven't, you know, paid out money to something or someone and they just took your money. Because I feel for some of y'all, you may have been scammed. I think when it comes to a mentor, when the spirit says patience, it means it takes time for them to put the right person in front of you. What is that saying? When the student is ready, the teacher will come. And it is true. I can attest to that. But I do know sometimes when we rush things and we try to make connections with people, sometimes we make the wrong connection. So be careful with that, especially if you're having an issue with a mentor. And the best thing is communication. If you don't feel like you're getting everything you need to out of that relationship, it's up to you to communicate that with that person. If you communicate with the person and there's still no growth, then you may have to go ahead and sever that tie and look for your next person. And I feel for some of you, you will be doing that because you feel like you're not getting everything you need. Um, definitely take your time. Like Spirit say, it's, it really is about patience and making the right connection. Unfortunately, in the community, there are a lot of people that are in this and it's strictly about money. They'll take your money and you won't ever see from them. They'll give you some manual or something that you could have got off of YouTube or Google and you paid a thousand dollars for it. And then it's like, okay, what, what else is going on? That was it. So read reviews, talk to other people, get referrals from reputable mentors, okay? Card number two. Okay, so we have anger. Okay, so here's the thing. For some of you, I feel strongly this is work work situation. Um, 
I feel like there was some betrayal. Now, this could have been somebody going behind your back, taking over a project, taking over a client, um, even taking credit for something that you did. For a few, and I don't, for a small bit, I feel like maybe somebody even caused you to be fired or lose your job. And there is this anger that is coming from that towards this person because there was a deep betrayal. I'm going to look a little bit deeper into that. I feel like for some of you, um, there is a feeling of wanting to get back at this person. Um, now, it may be at your detriment. You know, you got to do what you feel like you want to do. But I feel for like for some of y'all, if this is something that happened at work and you decide that you want to get back at this person or go back at this person, be really, really careful with that because i feel like you could end up losing your job yeah unemployment loss of job be really careful with that i see that there are a lot of issues that are going on and for some of you there was a lack of confidence and this person was able to come in and do some things that manipulated the situation the way they wanted i think um yeah Somebody manipulated you and you feel like they got the better hand. For some of you, definitely this could have been somebody that you worked closely with. But I feel like it had to do with money. Now, for a few, this could even be somebody you work with that you considered a friend. And now it's like, OK, I'm really, really pissed off with this person because they hurt me. But I feel like some of this anger has to do with money. Some of you, and this could be for a select few, some of you have started dating somebody who has anger problems, anger management problems, and they're really into like kinky, brutal sex, like, you know, throwing you up against the wall, smashing your, your head into the, what is it? The sheetrock. Um, mm. I get painful sex. So I feel like somebody is using their body to torture somebody with, but it, it, it is in, it, in the context of sex. Now, you know, if this is your thing, some of y'all get off on this, you know, you want to be thrown around and you want to be beat up in the bed or whatever. You may be dealing with somebody who is very much a sadist where they really, really get off on this. And it looks like that it could elevate. In fact, let me see. Do I have my sex cards out? Uh-oh. It could elevate into something that gets a little bit out of hand. So if you are a submissive and you're dealing with an overly aggressive dominant, um, you got to remember, of course, submissive is supposed to have the power. You have the safe word. You know, when you say stop or fruit loops or whatever, that's supposed to be the end of it. But don't ask me how I know about Fruit Loops or what the safe words is. Don't, I don't want no messages. Don't ask me no questions. All right, let's just go with it. So for some of you, I definitely feel like you're dealing with somebody who is overly aggressive. They're either aggressive in the bedroom or they're aggressive outside. Whatever it is, is that I think at the beginning, you may have gotten a little bit turned on by it. Now it's getting a little bit out of hand. This person is trying to draw blood. You know, they're doing all kind of crazy shit that you just may not be into anymore it's taking a turn let's see ah okay yeah somebody may be really into brutal anal sex i know people are like tanya what the fuck it is what it is Somebody might really be in there, you know, what is it saying? You bit me over with no Vaseline, no lube or whatever. You know, you went in with the dry and the dry was not comfortable. For some of you, yeah, you're you're dealing with somebody who's fucking like a beast. They're being a beast. That's the way you're seeing them. They, you might like it. You did like it in the beginning, but now you don't like it. So somebody was really, really, um, you know, they started off a little bit kinky, freaky, and then they just kind of took it to a whole different level. And you're like, whoa. And there's a lot of booty action going on with this. And there, there we go again. We got another beast. So this could be a male or a female. It was cool. It was kinky. And then it got really bad. So if you're in this situation, 
you may need to pull back from this person because I don't feel like they're playing the game fairly anymore. I think that it has gotten to a point where it's like there's a lot of pain that's coming out of it and you could end up getting hurt or end up in the hospital with some issues. You know, please don't go to the hospital with a Coca-Cola bottle up your booty hole. I, I have nurses I massage. I hear all these stories. Don't let somebody do that to you. Don't go out like that. Not in the booty hole. Okay. So card number three. Cards. Number three, some of you could definitely be dealing with conflict. You know the conflict is coming because the time is of the essence, which means that there's something that either this needs to be dealt with before it takes off or it's coming in and you shut the shit down fast because you're the lion. What I feel like for some of you, definitely something was boiling and it's coming to a head. There's a lot of people that are involved with this. And you know, there's just a matter of time before it gets either to the person that we don't want it to get to. And either the person is going to shut it down or you feel like you need to shut it down before it gets to that point. So for some of you, you're definitely going to be dealing this week with maybe an argument or something that started off as petty. And then all of a sudden, it's trickled down to certain people. And this could have been gossip behind somebody's back. And then all of a sudden it makes it to this person. And now it's like, oh shit, you know, that's not a person that we want to play with. That's not who we wanted it to get back to. Because for some of y'all, y'all could be dealing with somebody that does, they're just, they don't take no shit. They really don't. This could even be you. You could be having some issues with some people and then you thought everything was okay, and then it came back. It got back to you quick, and you're like, oh, what? what? And now I got a clean house. So for some of you, if you are dealing with conflict, if this is you, it's showing that you're not backing down. You're like, bring it on. I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to clear it up. So for some of you, you definitely this week, be careful that if you get caught up in petty stuff, if you don't have to become the lion in it, then walk away from it. Now, if you don't have a choice and this stuff comes to you and you thought maybe you handled a situation, but now you realize there's more people involved. These people are upset. This is even to the point where somebody might even want to hit somebody, attack somebody because they've crossed the line. But it's not only one person. There are other people involved with this. So this could be a group of people where you know, Susie Q told Maria, Maria told Bob, Bob told Stefan. And then all of a sudden this, the, the pettiness has gotten into a group type of thing. This could be in a family situation or a work situation, but I feel like it's a lot of people involved. I feel like there's a lot of gossip that goes with that too. Like I said, if it's pettiness, if you're involved in the confrontation, the conflict, and you don't want to be, you might want to back out of it. Because I feel like if you are a part of it and there's a, a particular person that y'all are going for, you may not want the wrath of this person if they have to get involved with it. Whether this is you or somebody else, somebody's like, I ain't playing with it. We, I'm not doing this shit. It's, it's going to be done. And they're going to shut it down quick. They're going to shut it down real quick. So if you're involved in this, be mindful. That, you know, you might have to cut something off with some people. Maybe even break up some friendships or some relationships. One, two, three. All right, four. Jeez. Uh, I've been seeing this in a lot of readings with people. This is sickness and this is money loss, which means some of y'all, bless your hearts, are probably dealing with the flu, dealing with some type of virus, bacterial, um, now, of course, I'm not a doctor, so never use tarot cards or tarot readers as, a, you know, a, a sitting for, for medical opinions or advice. If you're sick, take your ass to the doctor. If you're like me and you don't have health insurance and you got to pay out of pocket, you may end up losing some money because you don't have a choice. You know, you got an illness, so it's going to cost you some money. So if you chose card number four, this could be you or this could be somebody that you're close to where they're having some type of issue and financially it's going to cost. If this is you, you could get some type of virus, some type of sickness, um, and it ends up costing. For some of you, this could even be surgery. This could be stomach surgery or something that has to do with your colon, um, even, uh, what is this? Spirit is showing me the neck. Uh, what is this? Esophagus? Throat, 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 throat. So some of you could be having some issue 
where there's surgery that needs to be done. Oh, sorry, y'all. I just got a weird vibe. Um, I think it has something to do with either some type of blockage or reflex. Because uh, I feel like I want to throw up. So maybe something can't go down and has to come back up. Excuse me, y'all. Oh, that was... So I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't even expect that to happen. But I felt like something was up. And so I felt like I was going to throw up. It's crazy. The the physical manifestations are just getting a little bit too much for me lately. But I do feel, oh, uh, jeez. Okay, I do feel like some of y'all are going to be dealing with something up in here. Throat, heartburn. Oh, jeez. Anyway, it's going to end up costing you some money. Um, I feel like stomach too. So, I want to say flu, the esophagus thing, reflux. I don't know what acid reflux feels like, but I feel like something is here. Jeez. Okay. Spirit, let's move on. Ugh, okay. Card number five. Anyway, for card number four, be prepared. If you don't have some money put to the side, if you don't have insurance, start putting some money to the side because you may have to take, you know, a trip to the hospital to get some of that dealt with. Card number five. Some of you are in this, this phase um, where you're probably, you've been overthinking. I think a lot of this has to do with relationships and money is what I'm picking up. Um, Spirit is saying you're wasting time. You're putting too much time into this situation where you're just like, what, what's going on? What do I need to do? What's going on? What do I need to do? Your road is going to open, but you got to put some action behind it. Let me try to figure out what a lot of you are overthinking. I feel definitely money and relationships. Normally the readings are always about that. How's my money? What am I, what is going on in my relationship? But I feel like a lot of you feel you're you're blocked or there is some type of blockage that's going on it is showing that the road is opening though so this is a temporary block it's not anything that's going to last long for you okay yeah of course all right so some of you could be married or in a relationship and you feel like there's some stuff that's being hidden. So you're thinking about it. You're feeling like you're blocked with it. You don't know if it's going to move forward. So for some of you, this could be a marriage. This could be a living relationship or a relationship where you feel like somebody's keeping secrets. You're overthinking about it. For some of y'all, you've lost your job. There's a loss of income and you're like, what the fuck? You know, am I going to get money in? Is something going to open up for me? And you're overthinking about it. For some of y'all, definitely there is a positive message that's going to be coming through. So that shows that your road is opening. If you're having some issue within your relationship, it shows that there's some type of positive message. If you're having an issue with the money, they're showing there's some type of positive message that's coming in because it's showing that your road is being illuminated. You're going to see things clearly and it's opening up. So some of the obstacles that you were dealing with, you're not going to be dealing with. And you don't have to stress yourself out with this overthinking. So there is some clarity that's coming through. For some of you, definitely, if you did lose your job, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, within the holiday, especially going into Christmas, it's one of those things where people, companies are trying to get rid of people before they have to pay that bonus. Or they're trying to shut people down because they know that they're going to do new hires for January. So for some of you, this is just not the right time. For you to even lose job, lose your income. And there's a lot of stress and worry with that. But it is showing that if you're putting your resume out there, if you're filing for unemployment, there's some positive message that will be coming to you within this month, early next month, that gives you some type of hope. Um, for some of you, this could even be relocating for a job or having a job that is going to take you somewhere else. But it is showing that there's some money that comes in with that. Let's see. Love situation. I don't know why the overthinking is other than there's secrets. You know that there's something going on. You know that there's a secret. Something is being hidden from you. Spirit. 
I want to be nosy and know what the secret is. But I don't want to tell y'all because it may influence how you decide to work it out. And I'm wrong for that, right? I'm absolutely wrong for that. Let me see. All right. Spirit is not going to tell me because they know what I want to do and they're not going to let me do it. But they're showing happiness after difficulties. So whatever the relationship is, if you're going through a hard time right now and there is some deception, it looks like you are going to work it out. There is an end of problems that are coming in. And I'm happy for that. I was being nosy. I was trying to see exactly what it was. But spirit is like, nope, 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 nope. Because they didn't want me to fuck something up for somebody. So it is showing happiness after difficulties. I think more overall, this reading was decent. It's To me, it hasn't felt as heavy as the other ones. Other than that acid reflux shit that was really about to do me in. I was just praying, God, don't let me throw up on this thing and have to redo this all over again. So thank you. So guys, I hope this connects with you. Um, I'm going to be trying to get the monthlies out for December. Hopefully, I want to try to start them sometime this week because I think I want to attempt to do yearly readings. And that's ambitious because I, I feel like it's going to be a lot. But that's what the plan is. So pray for me that I get everything done that I'm supposed to do and I can go ahead and do that. And you guys, I will talk to you, let's see, probably Friday on the live reads. Love you much.